patriotism or national pride is the feeling of love, devotion and sense of attachment to a homeland and alliance with other citizens who share the same sentiment. This attachment can be a combination of many different feelings relating to one's own homeland, including ethnic, cultural, political or historical aspects. It encompasses a set of concepts closely related to, but mutually exclusive from those of, nationalism. Some manifestations of patriotism emphasize the land element in love for one's native land and use the symbolism of agriculture and the soil, compare Blut and Boden. An excess of patriotism in the defense of a nation is called chauvinism, another related term is jingoism. The English term patriot is first attested in the Elizabethan era, it came via Middle French from Late Latin, 6th century, patriota, meaning countryman, ultimately from Greek, modern pi alpha tau rho iota tau eta sigma, patriot, meaning from the same country, from pi alpha tau rho sigma, patri, meaning fatherland. The abstract noun patriotism appears in the early 18th century. The general notion of civic virtue and group dedication has been attested in culture globally throughout the historical period. For the Enlightenment thinkers of 18th century Europe, loyalty to the state was chiefly considered in contrast to loyalty to the church. It was argued that clerics should not be allowed to teach in public schools since their pietry was heaven, so that they could not inspire love of the homeland in their students. One of the most influential proponents of this classical notion of patriotism was Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Enlightenment thinkers also criticized what they saw as the excess of patriotism. In 1774, Samuel Johnson published The Patriot, a critique of what he viewed as false patriotism. On the evening of the 7th of April 1775, he made the famous statement, Patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel James Boswell, who reported this comment in his Life of Johnson, does not provide context for the quote, and it has therefore been argued that Johnson was in fact attacking the false use of the term patriotism by contemporaries such as John Stuart, 3rd Earl of Butte, the Patriot Minister, and his supporters, Johnson spoke elsewhere in favor of what he considered true patriotism. However, there is no direct evidence to contradict the widely held belief that Johnson's famous remark was a criticism of patriotism itself. Patriotism may be strengthened by adherence to a national religion, a civil religion or even a theocracy. This is the opposite of the separation of church and state demanded by the Enlightenment thinkers who saw patriotism and faith as similar and opposed forces. Michael Billig and Jean Beth Kielstein have both argued that the difference between patriotism and faith is difficult to discern and relies largely on the attitude of the one doing the labeling. Christopher Heath Wellman, professor of philosophy at Washington University in St. Louis, describes that the popular view of the patriotist position is robust obligations to compatriots and only minimal Samaritan responsibilities to foreigners. Wellman calls this position patriotist rather than nationalist to single out the members of territorial, political units rather than cultural groups. George Orwell in his influential essay, Notes on Nationalism distinguished patriotism from the related concept of nationalism. It is lamentable, that to be a good patriot one must become the enemy of the rest of mankind. Marxists have taken various stances regarding patriotism. On one hand, Karl Marx famously stated that the working men have no country and that the supremacy of the proletariat will cause them, national differences, to vanish still faster. The same view is promoted by present-day Trotskyists such as Alan Woods, who is in favor of tearing down all frontiers and creating a socialist world commonwealth. On the other hand, Stalinists and Maoists are usually in favor of socialist patriotism based on the theory of socialism in one country. In the European Union, thinkers such as Jürgen Habermas have advocated a Europatriotism, but patriotism in Europe is usually directed at the nation-state and more often than not coincides with Euroscepticism. 
Several surveys have tried to measure patriotism for various reasons, such as the Correlates of War project which found some correlation between war propensity and patriotism. The results from different studies are time-dependent. For example, patriotism in Germany before World War I ranked at or near the top, whereas to date ranks at or near the bottom of patriotism surveys. Since 1981, the World Values Survey explores people's national values and beliefs and refer to the average answer for high-income residents of a country to the question are you proud to be, insert nationality? It ranges from 1, not proud, to 4, very proud.